Hello and welcome. This is Lisa Waring of Full Moon Wares. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make simple spun cotton spiders using the traditional method of spinning cotton around a wire armature. Thank you so much for crafting along with me. Now let's make some spiders. So these are the spiders that I'm going to teach you how to make today. Um, they're spun cotton and they're made in the traditional method of spinning cotton, which is wrapping cotton around a wire armature and then stiffening it and painting it if you like. Um, they're, this is a really simple project, uh, but I do almost all of my spun cotton this way, um, wrapped around a wire armature. I'll show you another piece that I did with these guys over here hang out with us. So this is also spun cotton wrapped around a wire armature. It's um, obviously a more complex armature. The spiders are just a little straight piece of wire. Uh, this one would have like a wire skeleton inside, even the tiny, tiny little toes. Uh, so that's one that I did a few years ago, actually. And almost all of my um, spun cotton is made in this method other than the jack-o'-lanterns that I recently did the video for. They're a little different. Um, all right, let's get started on the spiders. Now, the first thing that you're going to need are the um, floral the floral wire. Um, so these are black floral wires, paper-wrapped, 24 gauge. And since I wanted to do black spiders, I just bought the black wire. You could have any color. It could be a little thicker or thinner. It doesn't really matter. Um, you could use bare wire. Um, and if you had a different color, you could paint it however you want, really. Um, so what I do is measure out four inch pieces and I cut it down with the wire cutter. Um, so I have some that I already cut here. So for one spider, you're going to need four four inch pieces in the size that we're making today. I'm going to set those aside. Um, so you'll see there's four on that side, four on that side. And then we're going to wrap it around in the middle here. Um, what I like to use to make these little bundles is a uh, crepe paper. This is just some scraps from another project I was doing, but you could use a piece of ribbon, a piece of construction paper, even some tape or floral tape, anything that can help you make a little bundle out of these wires. And then I'm just using Elmer's white craft glue, um, just brushing a thin layer on the crepe paper. And then you want to find the middle and wrap it around nice and tightly. You just want to make sure it's secure. Well, the crepe paper ripped a little bit, but that's fine. You just go back over. Keep wrapping. And then you'll have like a little bundle of wire connected in the middle. Um, at this point too, if there's any like stragglers on the wire ends, you can trim those off to make it even. Later we can trim it up a bit too depending on how long you want your spider's legs to be. So once you make some of these, you want to set this aside to dry. Um, I have some that I have already done here, so I'm going to take one of these and work on work with these in the next step. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. So the next step is going to be spinning the cotton. Um, this is the cotton that I use. It's a cotton sliver from um, an online shop. You can find this online pretty easily. Um, if you don't have sliver, you can use cotton balls even. You can unroll them and kind of make long pieces. You can use um, cotton coil, which is available at a beauty supply store. It's going to have a little bit different finish, um, but this is my preferred cotton for this project. It's naturally brown. This is how it is when it grows. Um, and I like to use the brown cotton for anything that I'm going to be painting a dark color. But you could absolutely use white, green, whatever color that you have available. So you can see that it's like a long rope, um, but it's just loosely combed together. We're going to need a thin piece. And this piece is maybe about like 18 or 20 inches long. So you're going to start at the top and separate it out. And you'll see it kind of separates out pretty easily. If it starts to get thick along the way, you can kind of tear it off. Okay. This one's coming off nicely. 
So now we have one long piece to work with. Um, the next thing that we're going to need is the cotton pipe cleaners and they just come like this. They're natural cotton and not um, acrylic or plastic like some of the pipe cleaners are. Again, you can find these online um, or at a tobacco shop. Even a pharmacy or drugstore will have these sometimes, Dill's pipe cleaners. Just make sure you get the ones that don't have like the plasticky bristles, just the pure cotton wrapped around the wire. So they're 12 inches long, the ones that I have, and you're gonna wanna cut them down into four inch pieces. And this is what we're gonna make our spider body on. So this is basically what is inside there. Um, now you don't need the whole piece, obviously, but it's nice to have this handle to hold on to. So this is the, the spinning part. I'm gonna start with it, one end of the cotton and then determine how big you want your spider to be. Um, and you're gonna start with the, the body or I guess it's the thorax. Um, oh no, the abdomen, excuse me. Gotta get my spider terminology. So just start by put, placing the cotton against the pipe cleaner and you're gonna squeeze gently like you're applying a gentle pressure with these fingers and this hand you're going to be spinning the wire i'm right-handed so obviously if you're left-handed you're going to hold it the other way but um so with my left hand i'm spinning the wire while applying a gentle pressure here so you're creating a smooth tight spin of the cotton so i'm working on the abdomen and we're gonna get that to be about like half the size that we want it to be. And then we're gonna go down and spin the head. Now you could tear it off and start again. I like to do one long piece. So a little trick that I like to do is just kind of gently pull the cotton to thin the fibers out. That way it doesn't have like a little a bump between the, the head and the abdomen. Um, so now we're down on the head, doing the same thing, spinning while applying a gentle pressure here. Just keep going until you get it to be about the size you want. Okay, that's looking good. Since I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Pull the cotton. You don't have to do that. You could just keep on spinning. So you're gonna go back on the abdomen, finish that up until you get it to be how you want it. Pull away the cotton at the end. Now you can see it's like looking kind of rough. You're gonna keep spinning it in your hand before you add any glue or anything. Keep spinning it. Hold it down here at the bottom to shape the body. Use your fingertips. And then you can do the head. So then we have something that looks like this. At this point, um, you're going to want to put the glue wash on. So the glue wash is four parts water. I use hot or warm water just to make it easier to stir and one part craft glue pva glue um, what i'm using is elmer's just white glue school glue and i like to use filbert tip paint brushes or fan brushes um, i'm gonna use this one and i just kind of spin the wire again a very light coat so that's that and then over here i have just a little tray to dry it on that I've prepared. It's just an enamel tray with some parchment paper. I definitely recommend parchment paper. So I'll just put that down. And I like to dry my spun cotton in the oven at 225 degrees. Something like this is gonna take like 30 seconds or a minute to dry. So that's nice. Another thing you can do is um, sometimes if I have like an old potato at the bottom of the bin, I'll stick it in the potato and it'll be upright. Um, so that's another thing you can use to dry your spun cotton. <laughs> so this guy's going to go in the oven, but um, I've already done some. But before I do that, I think I'm just going to show you one more quick spin. I think you might want to watch that again. So here's some cotton that I had ready. And then I'm going to do this one more time because this is the, definitely the trickiest part of this project. I'm going to spin the abdomen. You want to make sure you have a nice thin piece of cotton to work with. That's going to make it the easiest. 
Okay, that looks good. I'm going to do my little pull, go down to the head, spin there. Okay, I like that size. Do a little pull again, and then go back to the abdomen. Okay, happy with that size. Tear that off. If you did the jack-o'-lantern project and you had pieces of the spun cotton poonies left over, you can also use them to spin right onto the wire. So there's another one. Okay, we're gonna put that aside and in the next step, get these guys out of the way. Um, we're gonna paint. Okay, so I have almost a brand new watercolor paint palette here. Um, so here's one that came out of the oven, um, and I'm just going to use black with a little bit of water. I just like to do a really thin coat on him. I like when the cotton shows through a little bit, the brown. So again, this can go back on your drying tray or back into your potato or whatever you want to use for drying. And, um, stick that in the oven until it's dry. Of course, you can just let it sit on the table and dry too. Um, so here's one that's already dry and I'm going to do the eyes. I'll show you how I like to do the eyes. Um, I like to do yellow and I'm only going to do two eyes on my spider because I think it just, it looks a little cuter than eight eyes. Maybe they're a little bit less intimidating like that. So I'm just mixing a little bit of yellows together. Um, and then this thing is a nail art daughter or um, some people use this for working with clay but it's just like a tiny little ball on the end of this metal tip um, you could use a piece of wire for this a paper piercer a toothpick anything um, but I like to just put that dip that in the paint acrylic paint is totally fine for this too and then I'll just make a dot and then another dot for the eyes Kind of hard to do it on the camera with the angle that I'm at, but just a couple little dots for the eyes. Um, so after this, we have our leg bundles. Um, now I'm going to turn the spider over and see where I want it to go. Uh, I have a hot glue gun here. You can use uh, Elmer's glue again, super glue, whatever you want, but this is faster for the video. I have a very gunky, dirty old hot glue gun. Just going to put a little dot right on there. You don't want to put a lot because it'll come out the sides. So just a little bit. Get that off the camera. And then we're going to attach the spider right there. Let's hold down for a few seconds. I like to leave this thing on um, because it's just sometimes easier to work with if you have something to hold on to. Now the legs on this side look a little longer. So I'm going to trim them down a tad like that. And now I'm going to trim this off and I'm going to do it kind of at an angle um, like that. So the rear kind of has a pointed shape. Now it's going to expose some of the cotton, but um, all you're going to do is get a little bit more black paint and just cover that up. Just the paint is fine. You don't need to do the glue wash, but you can. Um, and then at that point, you just want to spread the legs out and put him in kind of whatever pose you want. I like to put these on the fake spider web that you can find almost anywhere. Um, they come with plastic spiders, but these are just, so, they have so much more character. So I've made a whole bunch of these. They look cute crawling around on pumpkins uh, with the jack-o'-lanterns. I like to use them to decorate the jack-o'-lanterns that I make. Uh, whatever you think of, you can put them on um, a bobby pin and make it a hair barrette. Um, so there you go. Just shape the legs however you want and we made a spider. <laughs> There's a few more for you. Hey, thank you so much. We've reached the end of the project. I hope that you had fun making spun cotton spiders with me. 
I'd love to see your creations, so please share them on social media and don't forget to tag me at Full Moon Wares. If you are interested in my other craft along tutorials or my spun cotton creations, please visit my online store for more information. The link is in the video notes. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Full Moon Wares. Thank you so much for joining me.